Yeah, going into the Oliver Twist meet, you know, we're looking at it the same way we always look at it. It's a tune-up for our, our conference championship. Um, so it's usually a weekend or, well, a Thursday evening where it's a little busier for our field eventers. Um, you know, maybe some of our distance runners might come down and, and, and run a race and get them the chance to go a little faster than what they're used to. Um, <clears throat> I think, you know, all, all in all, the mission was accomplished because they, they got our competitive rep in, you know, a little more than a week out uh, from, from the start of the ASCB. Um, four by one, got to stick around the track. That's all I really cared about on that day. Um, you know, from a training sense, you know, with the sprinters and such, I'm looking at things like, all right, how are we responding now on a Thursday compared to what we had done previously in the season? And, because um, I'm, I'm trying to move their week up just a little bit. Um, and then, going forward as well you know they'll have to be fast on Thursdays so um, that was the week one for us of basically Thursdays Fridays are almost like a Saturday so um, I, I I liked what I saw the Spurs I didn't expect to I'll say this now I didn't expect them to run their best races um, but at the same time like our women's mile relay they came out <clears throat> and uh, kind of got stuck on an island in their race and uh, had a massive season best. I mean, one of the, the faster four by fours we ran um, at McMurray in several years now. And so um, I, I think that the girls are capable of doing a lot more than what they actually produced. Um, at the same time, we had some huge personal best. I mean, JC Deacon's in the pole vault, uh, Mariah Gonzalez in the long jump. And uh, I know I'm leaving a few folks out, but um, I liked what I saw. I, so one of our scholar athlete interviews this week is with freshman Craig Collins and Craig how did you get in the track and field? Really was in the track and field up until my my senior year because I, I, I had no intention of being in track at all uh, up until uh, my free period I used to go it was uh, my eighth period I used to go into weight room like towards the end of, the, towards the end of school and I go in the weight room and then one day the track coach is sitting at the door and he said uh, I'm not gonna let you in unless you join track. I was yeah. like oh, it wouldn't hurt to join track and so, I basically, ever since that day, um, I ended up getting to track. So this is really like my second year of track and I made some big improvements. And, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know, like if I were talking to myself last year around this time, I didn't know I'd ever be here. What have you seen as your biggest improvements from the start of the year till now? Um, my biggest improvement is probably a really, really, relaxing when I run. I used to run real like people would say run hard. I just I used to run like real rigid and hard but I feel like I've, I've relaxed a little bit when it comes to running and, and event wise I mean coming out of high school I ran a 11 17 with like wind a dry hurricane behind me um, and the 200 oh man that was pretty bad. I am like I, I'm faster in the 200 by almost two seconds which is a lot for a sprinter. But really, just learning how to relax and all the technical, all the technicality of the track really is why I improved on. Improved yeah. on. And our second interview is with freshman Madeline Gotthler and Madeline. Uh, how'd you get in the track? Um, well, I've been in track since junior high, and it was really just something everyone did. So all my friends were in it, so I was like, okay, <laughs> pretty much. What have you seen as the biggest progressions you've had since the start of the year till now? Um, biggest progression. I would say, like, in my confidence, in my confidence in running, that's the biggest, biggest thing right now. Um, the actual, like, event part would be my 100 hurdles. They look so much cleaner. And 400 hurdles. I never ran a long distance hurdle race ever. So that's both my hurdles. What are you looking forward to the most about conference? Conference, I'm um, just competing alongside my teammates. I mean, we've been working. We've been working for this moment for a long time, so we're, I'm just excited to see everyone's hard work. When you're looking at the three-day meet, you know, I, we can kind of individualize that. There's only a, maybe a couple kids on the team who would have something each of those days. Um, so beyond that, it's still kind of a two-day situation, and we may not have to worry about that until the end of May uh, for some of those athletes. Um, 
so you know really we're looking at you know with the sprint squad friday friday's a big day and um, you know making it to those finals it's huge challenges I and mean, there's some really good athletes in this league it's my my sprinters i ask my athletes you know to really just focus on the things they can control it's itself you know worrying about how to execute this thing the process of it and so for myself and and even with the, the coaching staff i don't think we get too carried away with Okay, what's this one doing? This team doing? That team doing? Um, we got to make sure we serve our athletes this weekend, and we've got to be sharp. It's a championship weekend for us too, and so we've got to be ready to to know what we might need to say, what we may need to do, what cues there works best for this kid versus that kid, and uh, so we got to be able to to perform like champion coaches as well uh, this weekend.